When I confront my patients about their abysmally low vitamin D levels, they go on and on about their long morning walks, practically naked, around the lake, and I counter with tales of the nearly countless studies correlating health hazards with low vitamin D levels. There's everything from depression to cancer. Well, what does it really take to get enough vitamin D from the UVB rays actions on our skin? Well, first off, if you expose your skin before 10 a.m. or after 2 p.m., forget it. You might as well use sunscreen because you won't be getting any vitamin D production. It's also important to know that above 40 degrees north latitude, and that's the level of a small hamlet called New York City, you will experience a vitamin D winter, which happens from November through early March. This is a time when no UVB rays are getting through the atmosphere. Now, where I live in Southern Arizona, we get some UVB rays year round, and that's in all places below 35 degrees north latitude. But it still depends on the time of the year and also the time of day. So what I usually tell my patients is, if your shadow is longer than you are tall, and that's an indication of the angle of the sun, then you're not making much vitamin D. Now, altitude also has an effect. It's all, always better, and this is for vitamin D production anyway, to wear your bikini on the top of the mountain rather than at the beach. Now, other factors, water droplets in the air, such as clouds and humidity, will scatter some of the UVB back into space. Air pollution, like ozone, smoke, dust, and sulfur dioxide can either absorb UVB or reflect it back as well. Glass actually blocks all UVB rays. Now, the skin type also plays a role. People with very fair and easily burned skin will need around 15 minutes of sun exposure, whereas those with dark skin will need much longer exposure times, sometimes as much as hours, one to two hours. Of course, the amount of skin exposed to light is important. The torso produces the most, and the face actually very little. Now, age has an effect. Vitamin D synthesis can take up to four times as long for over, those over the age of 60. And if you're under 20, it also takes longer. Now, sunscreen blocks vitamin D production, and SPF as low as 8 can block 95% of vitamin D. SPF 30 blocks virtually all of the UVB, so you get no vitamin D. So, a lot of people tell me, well, I'll just take pills then. Supplying these pills has become a huge industry that's growing at a rapid pace. When I see a whole aisle at Walgreens devoted to vitamin D, I know it's hit the mainstream. But I'm always suspicious of the easy way out. There's emerging evidence that sun exposure may create a different molecule of vitamin D than the one that's found in the pills. There's also evidence that the UVB altered cholesterol that eventually becomes vitamin D may have other critical functions in our physiology. Now, I have the belief that our environment was intelligently designed for our benefit. And if we hide from the sun, it will be at our peril. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching.